Hey you guys, what's going on? Nathan here and in this video it's more of a helpful video, it's just a quick video but the reason why it's quick is because it's easy to show you. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can boost your FPS um, in any emulation software such as PS2 software, uh, Wii emulator, oh god what have I just done? Oops. What the fuck have I just done? No, that's my movies folder. I've lost my movies folder now. And I dragged it in here. Let's check if it's in here. No, we've lost our movies folder. But let's carry on with the tutorial. That is a great start to it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna have to find that anyway. But yeah, this is the software I'll be using for this exam um, for this video. <laughs> Razer Game Booster. Now I thought I'd do this more now because I have a lot more subscribers, it's getting really well. And basically this piece of software, let's start off the bat, it's a free bit of software. No joke, no trial, no full version which limits you. <laughs> it's entirely free and I'm going to show you now, I'm going to put the link in the description but I will, oh, but I will just show you to prove to you. And it's just so simple, it's as easy as 1, 2, 3, ABC. Yeah? And um, it's just, it's awesome because it really, with the right settings as well, if, you're, if your computer is more of a low end model, with the right settings and this is perfect and sometimes even goes too fast but you can adjust that to your liking see they have especially Windows 8 and Vista and even the older kind of versions of x so they don't leave you out and it's pretty awesome spec wise you don't need to run it as such you should be fine but let me just mention people always say this it's true it is up to your hardware you know just because you have this doesn't mean your game's going to run awesome if you have a top end of the computer definitely you probably don't even need this but most computers nowadays, anyway, have the tech, uh, have the um, hardware and that to actually run games, anyway, with the help of this. So you should be fine, anyway. But I'm going to show you an example mainly on the PSJ um, software. So this thing, first of all, PS2. This is mad. We're trying to emulate a PS2, which is this big console, try on a on a my, my, which is mine, a laptop. Ridiculous, right? But no. Before I boost it, I'm going to show you before the game boost. So at the moment, I've loaded in my Rayman, and we're going to boot it. Keep in mind if it does show bits of lag like when I put the game booster it is because I've changed my settings a bit for other games, but let's just go in it. <coughs> also, if you know why this like is like transparent, if you look really close it's transparent. If you just tell me why, that'd be awesome because I want to record the Grey Man, but I'm not going to record with this kind of black square. Let's just see, the first thing is you'll see is to listen to the audio. <laughs> just, it gets even worse from there. When we see this kind of introduction of the menu. Watch this. You, know, you may seem oh, it's alright, it runs, but you know, when you're actually playing, you're jumping, all these like, you know, all the, like, kind of stuff in it, it's a lot more laggy than you think. And yeah. So let's do it now. So I've cancelled it, I'm going to boost it. It'll boost it again, couple seconds. As you see, this has popped up. You show it turns off everything like background. You see it turns off Windows Update. It doesn't turn off your Wi-Fi, so you're fine if you're playing online. And now we're gonna re reboot it. And I'm just gonna change it to my kind of settings, which is slow mode, just because that's how I've done it. And it's pr you're probably gonna see it actually runs too fast. And I'm not saying doing this will sp you know overspeed it, because the whole point is you adjust. <laughs> it's clean. And now I'm gonna quickly finally show you just the menu. You know, and even if we go into an actual game, why I'm recording on this actually screen software, <coughs> you'll see, um, hopefully. Oh, it's really dramatic, I know, isn't it? <coughs> How's it hanging, Wiener Dog? And you know, it's, it's swift, it's not no breakup, so you can actually play the game and actually enjoy the audio as well, and it's awesome. And all you gotta do is just click restore now again, and it will turn it all back, everything turns back on, and there you go. So that's really all it is. All you need is a software, and you say it works for things like PS2, even we, even we software like Dolphin. So you know, I always, I always recommend you open up the emulation software, boost your game, turn it on, then open your iOS. And you know, I opened up We Play, use Game Boost on We Play, more of a low-end game I know, but it worked. It literally was like the Wii. No lag when I, I used the shooting game. No lag when I did it. It was awesome. So it just works really well. You can even do it for DS, GB, anything really, even normal games that you do. So if you go on the Games tab. When you first, you're going to have to register first of all, don't worry, it's a simple email, double password, verification, don't worry. And you, it actually locates all your Steam games, or proper, you know, downloaded games, if you haven't torrented them. <coughs> you can adjust them from there. But utilities is where, you know, just all you need on this tag is boost. And there's more stuff, if you're more advanced and you want to go for it, go ahead, but if you're just, you just want to do it, just click boost. Boost. 
play your game, record, whatever you do, you're finished, restore now. Just as, it's as easy as one, two, three, as always. And there you go. And you know, that's just one example. I'm not going to go through and show you loads because you've probably seen this proof already. You know, it works with any emulation software, any games, and it's a free piece of software, which is just the best bit. You know, and with the right settings, it works even better. So you can just use that, I guess. But if it does lag, for example, in this PS2 software, adjust like the, mainly the frames where you want to adjust, you know, the turbo, the, you know, and just adjust everything to your liking. You know, there's videos on YouTube, loads of videos where you can adjust your settings. If it still lags, then boost it with the game booster. That's what I've got for you today, guys. It's more maybe a long, kind of averagely video, if that makes sense. But it's just the game boost. That's what I want to show you because it's such a good piece of software. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode when we get back to our series. Subscribe if this actually helped you, or mainly like it so I know it helped you. Comment if it like, comment, comment me, comment on the video if it kind of helped you boost a game, or if you're wondering any questions, I'll happily answer them. So, guys, I'll see you guys in the next.